How's it going everyone? I wanted to show you the new turn signal that is coming out to replace the V3 and um, the V2 is staying. A lot of people have asked that. They're going to be renamed. The V2 is now going to be the uh, TS Slim and the bigger one here is going to be the TS Plus. So uh, the functions of the two the slim is just obviously the the v2 is meant for guys that have stock steering wheel setups like let's say you have a logitech wheel with the logitech servo no aftermarket wheel or anything you're going to want something slim that can fit in that space between the housing and the steering wheel this one here just like the v3 is meant for guys that have an aftermarket wheel on their setup uh typically guys have added an sci or forever sharp wheel or something like that you need to have that space for this um, obviously i make them as small as i can but you know you, you you gotta the more functions it has the thicker the the thicker it's gonna be so um here is the new one and it's a little bigger than the v3 not by much but obviously i mean i didn't have much choice on the matter um but it's really the same design and function the only difference is it's obviously a real turn signal lever and everything that we've made work with the simulator and you're not using a toggle here anymore it's an actual you know real lever so that's going to make it more reliable and um and all of that so but it does the same functions you have brights back and forth obviously your turn signals and then wiper control only these bottom three do anything because that's all american truck sim has they have wipers up in three different speeds and wipers back down obviously um, up here just won't do anything. Um, this here is a functional button. And there's usually a, an icon here that I am just covering up. Just to, I, don't, I don't want a whole lot on here that we're not going to use. So, um, but you got the arrow there indicating that you can push in on it. Um, I use it for light modes, but you can use it for anything you map it to. You still got your red and black buttons up and down here for once again anything that you want so um, let me show you mapping the buttons in the game and I'll show you exactly how this works in the game it functions a little differently than the v3 in some nicer ways so let's get into the game and I'll show you that okay you now have a view of my screen and I'm doing this on my laptop not my main sim setup just because it's easier to record on the screen but, um, yeah, let's go through mapping the buttons. As you can see, I've done a few of them already, but, you know, we'll run through them. Left. Right. Um, I'm going to use this end here for light modes. And high beams. What else we got? Wipers. So, plain wipers is wipers up, so that can be that button. And coming back down backwards would be that button. Because when you go up, it's the same button activated every time you go up, and the same button activated every time you go down. So, <coughs> so let's see. We got that one. We got the left and right. We got the brights. Um, these ones up here, I'm not going to worry about mapping right now. Um, you guys can map those to anything you want. They're just plain buttons. But let's go ahead and go into the game. And one thing I want to mention real quick is the exact uh, dimensions of this. The thickness here, which is the important part, is 69 millimeters, uh, which comes out to comes out to what about two and a, about two and a half inches, and then. Um, going up and down this way not that that matters too much that's uh 131 millimeters 
which I'm going to estimate here. I'm kind of roughly measuring it in inches. It's about five inches. Um, but yeah, this thickness is the main part. That's the part you need to check to make sure you have distance between the servo and your steering wheel on. But, and it's going to connect with, uh, it's not on here right now, but it's going to connect with the double-sided adhesive I've had so much luck with. Um, everyone, no one, I mean, I have over a thousand turn signals out there and no one's reported a problem with that adhesive. Um, typically the problem is getting it back off, but, uh, I've used this on mine for a while now testing it and I've had no issues with the adhesive and it's the only way I can really make it truly universal. Um, if you want to rig something up to hold it, you know, with screws or whatever to your housing, obviously that's up to you when you get it. But as far as, uh, me as a business selling these, uh, that that's, that's the best way I can do it to make it, to make it as universal as possible. But so let's go into the game here. Uh, we're in, <laughs> we're in my Cascadia, obviously off the site. Um, so let's start with the first thing I want to show you here. Let's do, is my truck started? Yes, it is. So you got light modes there. So, um, you get an external view here. So, light modes, obviously, and then, obviously, left, right, right, and then let's go inside for wipers. The cool thing that's different about this, well, first, on the turn signal, this is just like a real car one. You know how they have the lane change function where you kind of tap it? This works that way too. It doesn't automatically make the wipers or turn signal go, you know, four or five clicks like in real life, obviously. But if you're changing lanes or something quick, you don't have to push it all the way down. If you want, you can just hold it right there. And then once you change the lanes, just let go. And so it's, you know, a little easier, but um, I thought that was kind of cool that it worked that way. You can either do kind of a quick one or you can push it all the way up. Again, you need to have self canceling turn signals turned off in the game for this to work appropriately. Um, which a lot of, when I drove semi truck, I, uh, the trucks I drove, none of them had self canceling. So that doesn't really bother me. Um, there's really no way for me to make that work. Um, without some pretty crazy engineering. I really don't know of any way to make that, make this a self-canceling turn signal. But, um, yeah, so you need to go into your settings and under gameplay, turn off self-canceling uh, turn signals. So, uh, here's something else that was kind of cool. On the wipers, you have your normal, their speed one, speed two, speed three. Like I said, that's all that ATS has for wiper speeds. So if you go up here, it's not going to do anything. So once you're up three, come back down each speed, just like before. And now it should be on slowest. And then this is off. So something I thought was kind of cool. And we had to actually work with it quite a bit to get it to program this way. Um, you can go straight from zero to high speed all in one. You'll hear the clicks on the video in the game, um, but you can do all three at once. If you go straight up to three, that'll take you straight up. And if you go all the way back down, it'll accept all those inputs um, or up to two. Back down to zero. So you don't need to you know, wait through every one. That's not necessary with this. You can just go straight, straight up and straight back down or straight down to one or whatever it might be. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, that took some work getting that to, getting that to happen. But, um, 
but yeah so overall i think it's going to be a lot more uh reliable than the toggle that was in there um because you know the, this this sprites function and all that um that's a lot of pushing and pulling on a toggle that really was not intended for that um it worked good i didn't have a you know a ton of issues with it but um this is a it's more realistic it looks better it feels better um so yeah I, I wanted to go that route with it like i said it is bigger so check your size so check your clearance make sure you can fit it before buying it um but yeah so these are going to be out in um i'm hoping this coming monday uh which today is september 21st um but uh but yeah so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I really like using it. So, but I want to give you guys an overview of it. It does the same thing. It just it's a little more polished. It has it does a a couple things a little nicer. But uh, yeah, it should be much more reliable. So, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Check it out when it comes out. Thanks a lot. Have a good one.